As a landlord, you have every right to decide whether or not you allow pets in your rental investment. You might have a strict no pet policy in order to protect your property from the potential damage that animals can cause. However, service animals are not considered pets. Your tenants that require service animals are protected under the Fair Housing Laws and the Americans with Disabilities Act. You need to be aware of the difference between service animals and pets in order to avoid legal problems. What is a service animal? Service animals are used by people with physical, mental, or emotional disabilities to successfully live their lives. Service animals have been trained to perform tasks and provide comfort and support. If your tenant requires a service animal, you are not permitted to deny the application or to evict the tenant based on that requirement. There's been an increasing demand for emotional support animals as well as service animals. Emotional support animals are different because they're not necessarily trained in specific tasks as service animals are, but they do offer comfort to people who struggle with emotional problems or mental illness. People who require emotional support animals are also protected under the fair housing laws. Because service animals are not considered pets, you are not allowed to charge a pet deposit, extra pet rent, or pet fees. These are illegal and considered discriminatory. If there is damage caused by the service animal, you are permitted to withhold money from the tenant's security deposit to pay for the damage. Tenants must keep their service animals under control and must still follow the terms of your lease agreement. If you don't allow a tenant to move in a service animal, you are risking a lawsuit and a lot of potential liability. Contact us at CMC Realty and Property Management if you need help making accommodations for tenants who require service animals.